Hi guys, it's Keisha here at the Enchanted Dreamcatcher and welcome back to a, another video. If you're new here and just happen to stumble across my corner of YouTube, I just wanted to say hi and a little bit more about myself. This channel posts new videos twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday at 6pm and it's mainly witchcraft related, goal setting with a bit of beauty and everyday life are thrown in there. So, without further ado, let's get started. I did a video recently talking about my tattoos, um, my magical tattoos. I now have seven, yeah, I now have seven tattoos. So if you'd watched a previous video, you know I have five and that I was talking about when I was going to America to visit my dad and my family, that I would be going to my favorite tattoo shop that I am friends with the owner and he's super awesome that I would be going to get two more tattoos and I did so I thought I'd do a sort of a magical tattoos update video I will um pop a card link thing to um my previous video um talking about magical tattoos and also to my America vlog is that will be up by the time you've watched this video just to um because there's a little bit in the tattoo parlor there that my cousin filmed so if you want to see me getting one of my tattoos feel free to check that one out so I have seven tattoos my two newest ones are never on each of my arms one on my right and one on my left so I got this one on my right arm first it's hard to try and it's a huge tattoo i found this image on pinterest and it's it's hard to try and do it so you can see the whole thing but it's of a witch's broom or besom a crescent moon and a witch's conical hat as well and there's also a little triquatra symbol in there which you probably can't see um, and then you just have like this sort of floral reef. So it was sort of, it was done in sort of uh, black and grey ink as little white sort of highlights. And I just, look, it's huge. It's even bigger than I thought it was going to be. But I just fell in love, in love with the image as soon as I saw it. Because I reached out to James, which is the tattooist. Uh, probably a couple of months before I knew I was going again um well before I had everything confirmed sort of thing and just said I wanted to get another couple of tattoos and I showed him the image of a different one it was the same sort of thing that I'd found on Pinterest that I loved with a it was just the witch's broom and a sort of similar sort of floor reefing it was smaller and I really liked that and I was going to get that and then not long before I went to America, I actually found this image and it had the conical hat as well and the crescent moon. I was like, oh my God, I just love the way the broom is. Like, I just love like all of it. And I was like, that's just like, so me. So I changed my mind and I actually got that one. Probably took a couple of hours. Uh, it was a bit painful and sore, but it wasn't unbearable or anything like that. And oh, it was just amazing. I, it's because I, de I decided that for my next tattoos, I wanted to have like 
an article of my faith like on my body that I could always see and always be reminded of my faith and my beliefs and all that sort of thing and I just love the whole witchy aesthetic as well and I just I'm really pleased with it I love how it turned out I love I even love how big it is and sort of like it's like a statement piece and yeah I just yeah I just love everything about it so I got that one done the end of the first week I was there so on the Friday and then my other one the big reveal this one again it's on my arm so it's, it's hard to try and show you the whole the whole thing I think that's probably as near as I'm gonna get to the whole thing in the frame but that one I found on Pinterest as well and that is a pentagram encased in a circle so a pentacle and I found this one on Pinterest and I just love the aesthetic of that one as well it's it's so I feel like it fits quite well with this one it's sort of the same sort of um same sort of coloring same similar sort of design and it's just really pretty and so I just love the sort of I don't know I just love the flower the sort of, you can see all the sort of flowers and I just I don't know I again I wanted another sort of article on my faith on my body and I absolutely like personally for me and my practice I really resonate like with pentagrams and pentacles and I've always at some point knew I was going to get get one as a tattoo and it was just I guess it was just sort of the right time and I happened to stumble across that image as well and I really fell in love with it and I just felt like it would really, I don't know, it would really suit me and really just, I don't know, it would just be a nice to have on my body just as a reminder of my faith and who I am and so I decided the placement to have this one here as it's, as it's circular as well, I already have um, my uh, chain of butterflies and then also I have that one so I actually had a gap in this sort of portion that could go around and it actually fitted really nicely so I got this one about four yeah about four days yeah like four days before I left on my last week so on my third week I got that one as well and again it was sort of like a couple of hours no probably less than that both of them were probably about an hour and a half actually it was sore but it wasn't unbearable or anything like that and I didn't bruise too badly this time either which was like super surprising so that was like memory card was full so I had to delete some stuff and I was like damn it right in the middle of a video um so I've kind of lost my uh train of thought um what was I I think I was saying about how I love the intricacy and things like that and how just it's just awesome but yeah I didn't bruise too much either wasn't wasn't too bad um I healing time I kept um when I've had tattoos in America which they don't seem to do in England they put this clear um waterproof sort of like sticky bandage on it and you sort of keep that on for three to six days and then obviously you take it off um like wash it and then use sort of like propanthenum in england america's like this aquaphor that i was using and just sort of cause obviously you're t like you know scabbing and drying just to sort of protect it and yeah i did that and they both healed really well and yeah they were super super nice and i'm super pleased with them and i just yeah i i really love them and i just think that they look cool as well and it's just nice to have an article my faith on my body i'd love to know if you have do you have any sort of like um like pagan or witchcraft inspired like tattoos or anything like that if you do i'd love to see um like images of them or videos or anything like that so if you do like feel free to tag me on instagram my like facebook i'm really getting into instagram stories at the moment so feel free to tag me on your story or comment below um anything that would be really cool as i'm really trying to reach out and create a community on here which yeah just a bit like like-minded people and stuff so 
yeah i am gonna stop rambling and leave it there but i really hope that this video finds you well and that you are enjoying my videos and if you have any comments um or suggestions for future videos things you'd like to see i um would love it if you could <coughs> like comment below or send me a message anything so we can connect that would be awesome until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted